Hey guys, so I just got to work. It's around 6.50, clock ends at 7, so I'm about to go in and do that now, but I just wanted to update you guys. I don't know how much I will actually be able to talk in these clips, and I'm really not going to be able to show a, a lot for privacy reasons, but I will do the best that I can to get you all good content. Okay guys, so I just ran out to my Jeep to get a few things and I wanted to show you what they were because these are some of my two most important essentials as an EMT. So number one is a sleeping bag. Um, a lot of people here bring bedding because they are full-time so they work on a schedule but where I am a part-time, I just come in whenever someone needs a fill-in usually. So I have a sleeping bag because I don't need bedding and then in my bag here I have a blanket and a pillow. Hey guys, so right now I'm out in the bay where all of our trucks are and I'm about to check off the truck that I'm in. This is something we do every morning once we clock in to make sure we have all the material that we need, that the truck is clean, that our oxygen and all of our equipment works properly. So I now I'm going to show you how we check off the truck. Hey guys, so I thought I would film a voiceover for this part to sort of explain what I was doing because I thought it may get confusing if I didn't. So I just put on gloves before I checked off the truck and then here I am turning on the monitor to make sure it works. Please keep in mind I really did check the truck off before this more thoroughly. This was just whenever I came back out to get the footage for you all and then we clean our ambulances. So here I am just wiping off the monitor and then I am checking to make sure we have electrodes. Here I was just checking to make sure we had all the stuff for the IVs. Next I was checking the blood glucose meter to make sure we had everything needed for it. In this clip I was checking the oxygen tank on the stretcher to make sure it was full. And then I'm checking to make sure we have all the different size needles. Then I was just checking this bag to make sure everything that we needed was in it. Like in the bag we have things to start IVs and we have our drug box. Here I was making sure we had all the size gloves. Next, this is where I was checking like nasal cannulas, think, seeing if we had different sizes for adults and children, and then I was checking to make sure we had the things to start breathing treatments if need be. Here I was just putting in the shift setup on our iPad and making sure it was charged, and then I was checking everything in the truck here, uh, making sure it starts, windshield wipers, things like that. Here I was seeing if the battery on the stretcher was good, and as you can see it was. And that's all. Hey guys, so I just finished checking the truck and I know it didn't really look like I checked it that good, but I did check it earlier with my partner um, that I'm working with, but I didn't want to put her on camera because I felt like that would be a little awkward. So I decided to come back out and recheck the truck so I can get footage for you guys. And I haven't already said, but please ignore how bad I look. I never wear makeup whenever I have to work since I do. 24 hour shifts.
Hey guys, so it's a couple hours later. We just went on a call. It was a transfer. I am on the BLS crew today. We take those, so it was just taking them from a local hospital back to a nursing home. I obviously can't give any more information. And once we got back, we cleaned the truck and I finished charting and doing my run sheet because I was in the back and whoever is in the back with the patient does the run sheet. But right now I am about to eat some lunch and probably do some homework until we get our next call. Sorry the lighting is so bad. I am currently in one of our bedrooms where I will be staying for the night. Um, I'll show you kind of what it looks like here in a minute. But basically it's just a small room. There's a closet, a nightstand, two twin beds, and a TV. Um, but let's see. So I think the last time I updated you guys, I took that call. And then I done some homework, ate some food, and we didn't get another call for a long time. And around... 8-ish we got a um, 911 call came in so we took that uh, a medic did come with us so we ended up being an ALS crew and took a three-person run on that particular call I did drive and I'm trying to see what else but we just got back a little bit ago we're gonna have to go back actually because our medic did stabilize the patient so once uh, we dropped them off they were doing really well so where it was a transfer, we do have to go back and get them and take them back to where we got them and their like residency. So yeah, that's basically the plans right now. I'm just going to get my bed ready for the night and probably do some more homework because they've said it's not going to take too long. So here is my cute little setup for the night. I just basically lay down a blanket over the mattress then my sleeping bag and then a pillow. Uh, I don't bring bedding like I mentioned earlier since I am only part-time so I just don't want to leave it here and have it be in everyone's way when I don't ever really know what days I'm gonna be coming in but yeah here's my cute little bed sorry this lighting is really bad but we've just got back from our haul back it is almost 1 a.m um the previous clip you saw i was finishing my run sheet but it is a super easy haul back nothing crazy happened that's just part of being bls but now i am about to go lay down and hopefully fingers crossed get to sleep through the night but we'll see hey guys so it is the next morning it's currently 7:13, and I'm waiting on the last EMT to come in so I can leave and go home. So we didn't have any calls last night, uh, thank God. So we all got to have a full night's rest. Sometimes that happens, sometimes it doesn't. Um, it really just depends. But yeah, that is all for the day in the life of an EMT. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like this video, subscribe to my channel, and turn on those post notifications. Because I post every Wednesday and Saturday. Also, follow me on all my social medias. The links are always in the description box below. I'm trying to be more active on there. I will see you guys Wednesday with a new video. Bye, guys.